Hi, in this video we are going to discuss how you can stay relaxed and tension-free while you play staccato. This is a very common question. A lot of people have problems uh, when they play staccato and it's primarily to do with tensing up. Now, First of all, let's just quickly establish what staccato means. Staccato basically just means uh, to disconnect, to play the notes shortly, and uh, so that the sound from note to note is disconnected, basically not connected. Um, but that doesn't mean that we suddenly, in order to disconnect the notes, have to do very, very big movements, because this is, in my experience, the biggest problem people have when they play staccato is that they think because they need to disconnect the notes uh, they need to do big movements and go up and down on the piano and that can cause a lot of tiredness a lot of tension and also the higher you go and you have to go down the less control you have of the sound so um, let's try this there was just someone playing um <laughs> which is the beginning of the Schumann Aufschwung. Now, in this particular case, uh, for example, uh, most people, when they see the staccato, the beginning, they play like this. Can you see? In order to guarantee that it's staccato. Whereas I feel, and this is what I teach, is you don't have to go so up so high. And the opposite, when I play staccato, I try to stay as close to the keys as possible and uh, basically almost in constant touch to the key because uh, the further up I go, the further down I have to go down again and the, it's just a lot of action. So of course, when I do this like... You see, this is very staccato, but I don't go up at all. There's a, a finger action in the fingertip, which will happen, of course, in order to separate the notes. Um, but I basically think only down. I just want to play down. Most people, when they play staccato, they think up, going up. Uh, to disconnect and that is really the source of all the problems. So look again, so when I play and then I play and you can hear straight away that the sound is a lot harsher because I really have very little control when I go up like this and it's physically really very very busy. So how do we approach this? I always say start with a five finger position like for example here in, in A major if you see when I play this legato like this now when I play this staccato it looks like this legato and staccato so there's very, very little difference in movement, yeah? Um, so, of course, I need to be careful not to slur the notes or whatever, to really have an accurate action in the front of the finger, but it doesn't mean that I suddenly have to do this. Hmm? And uh, because the, the more you involve from your arm, <laughs> the more difficult it is to control it. So I just like to stay nice and free, free in my hand, my wrist in a staccato is almost never really active. It is free and flexible, but I don't do it because this is extremely difficult again for me to control. So I just go down, 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 down. This is really how I think um, in anything. The same here at the beginning, I just play this again. I just think down, 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 yeah, and then I'm really just going up naturally without doing anything. I'm trying to not involve any muscle work if I possibly can, because that is tiring and I don't want to get tired. Um, so really feeling the keys first, um, having a free hand and of course a flexible wrist. You need that for staccato. But again, um, I, I wouldn't, for example, when you have like 
the same shape like here we have the the six you have to play in c major this is something you have to do for your grade eight i would say um and i see very often people doing this and you know they miss and 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 it, it is really very tiring and after one octave they are already done so i i would recommend to you being very close to the keys again and when you have the same shape repeating the wrist is a little bit higher yeah but i just think of my free hand doing this so there is very little action of the wrist itself so yeah it's really just this and it's the same when you have like um um chords like three chords you know things like this um it it is very little action from here you're just staying nice and close um or staccato scales in pieces like you know again i would always recommend start playing it legato and then just stay in the same way feel it in the same way just have a little action at the front of the finger without getting tight and just use a little bit of this giving motion i always say just have a free hand giving to the keys and I'm trying to, as you can see, to involve and to activate as little as possible. Because if I have to play like a piece, like for example, I have here the Prokofiev Sonata, which I've been working on with someone. Um, if, you, if you constantly activate and use your muscles for every single staccato, you will not manage the first page, let alone the whole piece. Mm -hmm. um, if you have, for example, intervals, you have to play staccato, uh, like thirds, let's say chromatic scales for thirds. You see how close I am? I hardly do anything apart from free, down, thinking down. And I have a little action here, but that's about it. Um, when you have things like... Can you see? I'm always there. I'm always there before I play it, before I attack it. So just because the note has to sound sharp and has, has to sound quickly disappearing, doesn't mean that actually your movement has to be quick and aggressive. It doesn't, it's the opposite. I feel the keys before. Yeah, and I can play it very, very sharply because the sharpness comes from the fingertip with a very very focused front and uh, with uh, as little action from the rest as possible. <laughs>